Well, hello there, Aquarius. It looks like the message from the universe is clear. Where you are is where it's at, and you're not to move until you hear the call. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is an Aquarius tarot reading. It's a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. If you're interested in the extended, there is a link to it in the description box below. Let's see where we're going. The call. Number one, honor the whisper of your soul. And where you are is where it's at. I think Capricorn got this. Number 14, reduced to a five. Stay still until you are divinely moved. I love how the swirl to this connects like a shell there. Don't, so this is don't move until you hear the call. It's quite literal in this case. Sometimes the cards are like that. Anything else there? Stay still until you're divinely moved because what's coming next doesn't um, require a lot of active energy from you. Not, not a lot of grunt work, blood, sweat, tears, and the like. There's supposed to be an element of ease moving forward from where you are. So don't move until you get the call. Okay. You can keep preparing. Sure. But you're not supposed to be exerting tons of energy. Okay. Show me what's going on with Aquarius, please. Show me what's going on with Aquarius. Show me what's going on with Aquarius, please. Show me what's going on with Aquarius, please. Six of Pentacles there underneath. We're giving to something. Empress, card of Taurus and Libra, okay. Two of Cups, Hermit, card of Virgo Judgment. There's the call. That's it right there. Eight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. I'm going to read this side is you, Aquarius. This is them. This is the situation. This is very interesting. Hmm. What's interesting is that I feel like you see them before they see you. And you, let me start over. This person, it feels like they're kind of not stumbling in the dark, but they're on a path to discovery, looking at one step in front of them at a time. So by the time they run into you with their little lamp in the dark and it illuminates who and what you are in front of them, it's actually quite the surprise. Okay, Because that's what the hermit does. The hermit is a guide. He leads us out of the darkness through divine knowledge. So this person is on a journey of some kind, spiritual journey of some kind. Inner work is being done. You, pretty solid. You're actually going from queen of pentacles to empress. Okay. Your energy is further stabilizing and therefore available and open for new partnership, new love of some kind. Okay. And this is the judgment call, the call that prompts you to move. But until then, don't move. Stay still. <laughs> Let's get the details of the situation, please. The details of the Empress. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Nine of Cups. Ooh, Tower, Scorpio energy, King of Wands, Leo energy. Oh, so one of you is really shocked that the other one is single. It would make it would make sense if they're shocked you're single because people don't understand an emperor and an empress can be single and still rule very well. Hmm. Because it's like you're not announcing it from the rooftops. I'm single. You're not wearing a T-shirt that says it. You know what I mean? There's, it's You're just going about your business. You just happen to be emotionally available, too. 
So they discovered they had no idea that they, they discovered it, it, it and it's a bit of a shocker to them. Show me the two of cups, please. Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Justice. So you don't start, Libra energy, you don't start moving toward this thing meaningfully with great speed until you're certain that it is a balanced connection. That there is balance here, that there is, that you're both well-rounded adults. I think that's fair. I do. I think that's fair. Show me judgment here. The judgment call that's going to move Aquarius. <laughs> Ten of cups. Yep, that would do it. And you see it, Queen of Swords. You see it through all the options in front of you. Some of which are in front of you to distract you. But you are able, because of how far you've come and evolved, you're able to see which call is the Ten of Cups, long-term happiness with another person. Oh, me darn. Look at you. And this is showing me the your evolution to Empress, because an Empress is a queen of all of the queens because she's mastered all of the elements. Same thing goes with the Emperor. And you're already showing up as three queens on your side here. Show me the Queen of Pentacles, please. Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, yes! Death card of Scorpio, look at that. We're not, we, we, we have zero, zero fears and zero Fs to give on top of that. Because being a fixed sign, that tends to be how we roll. <laughs> okay, so we have Scorpio, Capricorn, Leo. Energy for those of you here keeping track. You... You're planting your goals and you are cultivating, doing the long-term cultivation of managing those goals, okay? And as you chisel away at that, any fear you've had about like the life path you've chosen or the goals you've chosen to plant, that starts to just fall away fast, okay? With this transformational death energy here, with that Scorpio energy, because it, it's going to the process it's the process itself derives so much happiness from you but it brings more with it as you get from 7 of pentacles to 10 okay brings much more with it along the way okay this is looking good 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 okay let's get into this person let's see what they got going on show me what's going on Oh, with this hermit, please. Show me what's going on with the hermit. Three of swords, ten of wands. Six of wands, hanged man. So meeting you actually is a number of triggers for this person. Is that your problem? No. That's their problem. It's their triggers. So immediate triggers of wondering how, what kind of challenge it's going to be to try to win you over. Okay. And seeing how those triggers hit their ego, because that's all where this is from. But the difference is, is this person actually is going to stop and take a look at that because they're on this path to inner discovery. So some heightened enough heightened awareness has happened in order for not just the triggers to happen, but to stop and look at them. OK, they get points for that. They get points for that. That's showing soul evolution. Show me the eight of swords, please, for this person. Five of Cups, King of Cups, Scorpio Energy. Five of Wands, Justice, Card of Libra. Also Justice for both of you here. Interesting. I understand the fear of not wanting to lose one's heart to the wrong person kind of thing. I, I understand that. 
But you're not supposed to give your heart away. You're supposed to keep it, but share it, right? Not give it away where you no longer have control over it. Because it's yours. It's supposed to be in your domain. That could be just my two cents, but that after going through the twin flame journey that I have, that is a truth that I have discovered personally. Because it's, there's a little bit of the freeze up of, I, but I don't want to lose, I'm struggling to lose, not wanting to lose my heart space to something, even though that something could be really good. No matter how good it is, I don't want to lose my heart, no matter how good it is. Is there any way around this for this person? Or through it? Thank you. Is there any way through this? They have more work to do. They have more work to do. Yep, more healing work to do. We all do. But this is shining a light on what is left for this person to address. Show me the Queen of Cups for them, please. They still want to give to this. They still want to give to this. Five of Pentacles, six of Pentacles, three of Cups, three of Pentacles. They're still going to ask you out. How do they feel about Aquarius in the beginning? They're learning a different way of being from you that's really powerful. Something about in how you operate and function and move into the world shows them how you do so with some level of ease that, that they are not accustomed to. Because you seem generally like relaxed as you move forward in life. What's Aquarius's impression of this person? You can see this is worth the risk. Ah, you like them. You do, you like them. There's their hermit right there. You like them. They're giving you signals of a wish granted, so you want to know more. All right. Well, Emperor there. Yeah, and they are single, single. They are, they are actually available. A single emperor. To go with a single empress. It's a good sign so far. We'll see if how they're going to assess and deal with their triggers as they proceed through what it is they have to reveal. Okay. I'm going to head over to the extended and I'm going to see what's going on with this person in their current energy near future and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you are interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye. Bye.